welcome back to the channel. It's 8 a.m. right now, and what are we doing up so early in the morning? So behind me is this shop called Uri Noodle House. It is one of the best pork noodles in town, and we are here first thing in the morning because this is famously known for its long waiting time. Yeah, so legend says that you have to wait over an hour to get your meal, and only the most patient will be rewarded with the best. So, right. So let's eat. <laughs> let's eat. One thing that stands out at this stall is the cooking method. The broth and the noodles are cooked one portion at a time. So every bowl is given an equal amount of attention and care. There's an option for the type of noodles you'd like to have, as well as some add-ons like pork inuts and egg. When you make your order, they'll also inform you on the current waiting time and we were told to expect a 30 minute wait for our bowl of delicious pork noodles. We're now waiting for our noodles. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. Since we have to wait anyway, I think we shall order some coffee and some toast. It's like a classic Malaysian breakfast thing where we eat our toast and coffee. It comes in this cute plastic cup. It's really hot. This one's a simple kaya and butter toast. You can really taste the buttery goodness and the sweetness from the kaya. Good combination. Really yummy. Time for the toast. A good appetizer before you eat your pork noodles. So exactly at half an hour, our food came. I ordered the pork noodle with kway teow and eggs. If you can see here, there's a lot of innards, sliced pork, the minced pork over here, and this big chunky egg over here. But I'm going to try the broth first. Mm. So the broth is really, really rich. There's all of the flavors from the pork and a little bit of pickled vegetable that they put into the soup, which has a hint of sourness. Overall, it's a very thick and rich broth. The broth is literally like the heart of the pork noodle because that's the difference, the biggest difference that sets it apart from every other pork noodles. To forget just the broth itself, it's really, really good. And the egg looks ripe to birth. There you go. Portion is very generous. Look at the chunk of meat that they give. So we have the minced pork, some vegetables. This is a, uh, I don't know what vegetable some inuts, which is the intestines and the pork liver. There is also spring onions and shallots. Alright, here goes. Mm. The one thing I like about the kwetiau noodles, it really absorbs all of that broth into the noodles. And there's so many different types of meat in this bowl. And each one gives a little bit of different texture, so I'm going to try the liver right now. So the liver has a little bit of this um, chewy texture. Once you bite and chew into it, it starts to melt in your mouth. It's very tasty. Not everyone is a fan of innards, but I would recommend to get the innards into your bowl anyway because the flavors from the innards will come out and it just adds into the aroma of your broth. It's really, really good. So adding the egg is really optional, but if you add the egg, it adds to that creamy texture and the yolk is almost semi-cooked, half-cooked, giving it an extra creamy texture to your soup. The broth over here tastes like Everything is boiled and cooked together. All the ingredients are infused into one bowl. That's what makes this taste really special to me and I think it's really worth the wait. Puri has his fair share of pork noodles. It's my turn to try it now. Okay, that's a lot of ingredients on it. I've ordered the pork noodle with this interesting looking noodles. It's called Lo Shi Fun. Let me try the broth because that's where all the flavour is. Oh yeah, that's even the jiao jia, deep fried pork lard. It's not my favorite thing to eat because it's, uh, it's crunchy and soft inside. I just like having it in my soup, but I don't really eat that. I think Puri wants it. <laughs> I'm gonna try everything at once. This is the intestine, the liver, and the minced pork. If you want some spice, just throw in some chili. All right, try this all. The pork liver is really creamy. The intestine, it definitely gives that chewiness texture. It has that distinctive flavor and lo shi fan is smooth and glides through your mouth. I love the noodles. Overall, it's really, really delicious. 
the pork noodle is my all-time favorite noodles. I can eat it any time of the day, be it breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even supper. I don't mind. I can just eat it all day. The quickest that I've waited is about half an hour, and it can actually stretch to over an hour during peak hours. So I would suggest to come early, and that's why today I'm eating it for breakfast. So being a pork noodle lover, this is absolutely one of the best that I've tried. I've tried so many and this has one of the thickest broth that you can find. So I think that's really worth the wait. I like how they have that tiny bits of pickled vegetable in the soup because I don't feel jelak after eating it. I won't feel tired of eating it. Just like how the usual creamy broth does after a while when you eat. Although I'm not a huge pork noodle fan as much as puri, I do think it is a good porkylicious bowl of noodles. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you want to follow us on our travel and food videos, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.